Hi everyone, this is Charlene, Market Gypsy Online, um, and I'm doing the unboxing with the Jungle Farm CSA Summer Box. It's a 14 week program, and every week I've been unboxing and sharing the ideas of or what is in there and what to expect. It's um, supplied by collectively grown um, vegetables through Innisfil Growers, which is uh, collectively um, a group of five local farms here in central Alberta. And there's uh, Upper Green Farms, there's Hillside greenhouses, the Jungle Farm, Beck Farms, and Edgar Farms, and they are powerhouse together, and I just love that we've been able to do this with all of you guys. So anyways, I am going to get straight to it. Um, it's a beautiful day here. I'm pulling my own garden out and all kinds of good stuff, so um, I'm going to get to all the good vegetables. Uh, so, okay, the super sweet carrots, uh, their little tiny ones are not you know, I think they're sold out of little tiny ones right now, but for pickling, I've pickled with them. But uh, um, these, this was in the CSA box, Beck Farm Carrots, super sweet. Uh, they're the bigger ones, and Beck Farm Carrots are, like, known in Alberta for the go-to carrots. Uh, I tell you, like, everybody does. They're gorgeous, they're delicious, they're crunchy, they're sweet. And I Kate had said that one time, they are sweet because uh, the cooler weather we have here in the soil in Alberta, right? And so it brings out the little bits of sugar in the, the carrots and, and Beck Farms have been growing um, carrots for years and years and years. They know their stuff and I love them. So there's carrots. With this whole CSA box, I think there could be a possibility of a phenomenal fresh squeeze green slash vegetable juice because the other items all from the jungle farm I'll carry on but carrots can go in them uh, celery from the jungle farm I love celery uh, I, I'm not somebody that eats celery a lot uh, I find it really strong I always try to buy typically the heart part or whatever it's called the, the not so strong parts but in soups and stews don't forget to keep the leaves in the freezer um, don't throw those away uh, keep them for when you make soups and stews in the fall or winter um, Celery is a, a good one in tuna salad. I love tuna salad, so I always talk about them. But um, the uh, other item that I have are beets uh, right here, red beets, yum yum. Uh, we talk a lot about beets. There's all kinds of recipes out there for that. And I'm going to keep talking. I've I got to get through the vegetables because last time I got cut off. So, <laughs> and it, um, baby cucumbers or uh, pickling cucks, if you want to call table cucumbers too. Uh, my grandma, I don't know why, but she would always take off the end and rub it. And she always said it got the bitterness out. I don't know if that's a, a folklore or what, but sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. Um, so there's those cucumbers as well. And spinach. Last time I think I called it lettuce the whole time, but I love their spinach. Like honestly, I really do. Not a spinach person from the grocery store because it's rubbery and it's sandy and it's kind of gross. But this stuff I love. I love, 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 love theirs. Um, oh, always nice. Fall bearing strawberries, right? Like look at how gorgeous. I love them, and they're so sweet too. It's the same idea with the carrots. Um, they're gonna have a little bit more sugars in them, so they are sweet and delicious. And eat them up, use them up, uh, eat them just like that, put them on a dessert, make muffins, what have you. Spaghetti squash, like look at, the, the Jungle Farm grows some amazing squash. They have a number of squash available out there and they're pesticide free, so you know, it's all good. You can eat the skins, whatnot. This is spaghetti squash and I'll be, I definitely have a couple of recipes for this that I'm gonna be doing here. Um, but like I said, you know how the Jungle Farm always has these great little surprise ideas in their uh, CSA boxes, which is something that I like because uh, it just keeps it exciting and I don't know, you just feel super special. So this week they had, look how sweet, the tabletop uh, decorative uh, pumpkins or squash. And they have all different types, but you can go with there. I only have a minute left. See, I keep talking too long. So I, I went through all the vegetables. I'm excited about that. But you know, you could do a green juice with cucumbers, carrots, celery, beets. You could do that. Um, I'm going to make a soup here and I'm making a salad. That's one of my favorite. I have the couscous over there made and it has cucumbers, uh, red onion, um, tomatoes, uh, and a few other things with uh, just freshly squeezed lemon juice. And because it's so warm out, it's still delicious. And then I have a warmer one, uh, a warmer salad, and it's a lazy cabbage roll from Gloria, her recipe. The one salad with the lemon juice is my mom. She always makes it. The one with the lemon juice and couscous and cucumbers and, and uh, whatnot, bell peppers. And then the other one is a warmer one, and that is Gloria's recipe. She makes for her family, and they all love it, and it's a lazy cabbage roll recipe. So, okay, that's it. I only have 10 minutes. Thank you for always being here. Eat well, help each other, feed each other, and be well. Love you. Thanks. Bye.